Welcome back, everybody. It's if you're still watching, it's episode two. Uh, so we've just escaped from Candlekeep. Well, basically, all we did in the last level was like created my character, and then we walked out of Candlekeep, and then we watched Daddy die. Daddy, why did you have to go? So um, yeah, so we get him a win. Uh, let's take a look at Imowin's character sheets. It's where it used to be C was character, but I guess not anymore. So here we go. So not very strong. So. Um, you kind of like to have a pretty good strength normally for a thief because backstabbing is kind of a big deal for thieves. And uh, yeah, so and Imowen uh, will do some backstabbing, but she's obviously not the best at it. Dexterity, 18, that's the max. Also good charisma. High intelligence, that's what I'm talking about there. So if she can dual class uh, into a mage. Uh, the trick to doing this is, I don't remember what exactly the... Um, the count was and how much experience you can get. I believe they've removed the max from uh, the Enhanced Edition, which is nice. Uh, enhanced Edition, uh, well, the non-Enhanced Edition back in the day was kind of a pain because you could only get up to uh, such and such a level. And um, it, it was an XP max. So it was like 130,000 experience points, I think. Uh, and so you, like, if you did stuff uh, in a bad way, no matter how much farming you did, if you, say, leveled Imowen up to level 7 Thief and then moved over to Mage, you would never get up to a high enough level of Mage to be able to um, uh, ever use her as a dual-class character. Uh, so, yeah, it kind of sucked. Uh, that being said, um, there's only so much farming you can do because there's no, like... Well, there are wandering encounters that you can get if you travel from place to place, but 95% of the stuff that you're going to fight are going to be just you know characters actually on the map so there's only so much of that you can do uh in the way of farming so it's a good idea to think level five is about the limit that you want to go with with Imowen uh if you're going to do the multi-class thing so yeah so uh she also has good constitution which is nice because she gets a lot of extra hit points so normally a thief gets one to six hit points in first edition they actually only one to four but so that's nice but she gets the uh one to six plus two actually um yeah, bonus hit points for level plus two. Um, yeah, okay. Oh, it actually does um, the max, so that's nice. Back in the day, uh, you rolled a die, so it could really suck. You could uh, start out with a level one character with one hit point, and if that's a fighter, then you're kind of screwed. So, yeah. Um, anyway, Imowen is a plain old thief, so it doesn't get to wear anything better than said leather. She's probably not going to use a shield at all. Um... I'll be equipping her probably with a short sword and a short bow. Um, only become proficient, so she gets doesn't get a plus to anything. Um, she does get a lot of thieving abilities. So here's yeah, the backstab. One to four is only two times, so you get up to level 13 if you're going to specialize in, in thief. Kind of awesome, because I've actually... You know, you, you can... If you fight with a, with a... So you get a plus five. Like, that's... Just a regular short sword, like you can do 30 points of damage with a with a short sword that does one to six. Um, if you crit, you can do 60 points of damage. If you have a strength bonus, say like you get you know like a 16 strength that gives you a plus two. That's why it sucks having a with a nine. But if you have a plus two to your strength, then you can do so. That's um puts you up to let's see uh, six. That's eight is the base. 40 damage uh, without a crit. 80 damage with a crit. So just insane amounts of damage. Um, thieves are kind of awesome. You do have to maneuver thieves around uh, to uh, to make them work right, but um, yeah, they uh, they'll do what they do. That is one thing. Um, the game Pillars of Eternity has uh, streamlined that a bit. It makes it a little bit easier to, to know when you're in backstab uh, mode and when you're not with a thief. So that's kind of nice. But um, yeah, this is what it is too. So, yeah, the other thing about, of course, Baldur's Gate is that where, although the, mo the, the bad guys will be assistance? line up with you, um, the bad guys will, like, stop to fight you. They can run around you and just go and attack the mages, so you can't tank the way that you can. In I shall attend to it in a trice. Conversely, the bad guys can't tank the way they can. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. That is the party AI. I've turned out a bunch of alerts in place of it. Party AI is... Hello there. Wanted... 
turn off of this guy. Stand away from me! I have little trust left in last night's events, and I should not waste any time on you. Oh, you the, yeah, the cause. Just, uh, assume I'm the cause, sucker. Can you help me? I'm in dire straits. So being stupid and unwise is kind of nice, because I can just be myself. Ha <laughs> ha! Make friends where you can. So find yourself with like-minded companions. That's, that's good, uh, good advice. Um, get up to six people in your party as quickly as you can. And always keep it up there. And save a lot, which he's not going to save because that would be a little bit too meta. Uh-oh. Um, Gibberling. I think we can take these guys with... What is it this time? Dude. What you want? So, okay, you are wielding the bow. That's good. That's exactly what I want. Whoops. Let's give them a right thrashing. Give them a right thrashing. Oh. Give them a win. Come good on. Good if you saved it this way. Yep. Yes? No fun. You have but to ask. You have but to ask. I am not very bright. You already be disturbed. Now leave me be. Your company be toil enough as is. So, Monteron and Zar are interesting. Um, if you're going to play Monteron, an evil party... you are so aggravating! She's disturbing to my demeanor! Yeah, so Monteron and Zar are there if you do want to play an evil party. I mean, realistically, if you don't, just, you know, you're, you're going to hang out with them for like five minutes. So, yeah. You looked a little scarf, too. I'm grateful for any assistance. And apparently I got a potion. Cool. Okay, so we're to meet Baron Gaskill. Okay, well, I may as well go with you. Yeah, I need to meet someone. I'm not gonna pay you anything for your time. How may I be of assistance? Pay me for your time. Okay, so let's start out with we are all low level. Um, you Let's spoke at me? Let's take a quick look at our guys here. Um, yeah, did it. Monteron, uh, fighter thief. Uh, so he's the elven guy. He's got the problems that multi class characters have. Started out nice, nine hit points. It's not bad. But it takes a while for him to level up because he's got to level into two places. Um, but yeah, otherwise, he's not bad. And the problem with fighter thieves is that in some ways they're the worst of both worlds, so um, he can fight. He doesn't have to wear a set of leather armor, but why would you have a multi-class character uh, when you can't use half of what they do? So, you know, he's... Yeah. So there's not much point in giving him uh, anything stronger than set of leather, so, yeah, he basically is a thief with more hit points. The end. Um, but, yeah, so he does have... A lot of chances to hit. To I'll do your so, toil. What is again, it if you were to carry him along to level 15, you know, that's a uh, 9, that's 45 damage all, all at once. It's just. Thieves are awesome if you can use them right. It's hard to use them, don't get me wrong. But if you can, they're kind of great. Oh, thou wanderer. Stay thy course a moment to indulge an old man. <laughs> I the last old man that I met um touched me in bad places. No thank you, old man. Um I'm kind of desperate. I'm just gonna be frank with everybody, because I'm stupid. Oh that I would. Blah blah the end is a distance to the north. Yep, I saw it on the map. Yes, yeah, so that was actually Elminster, who is a main you have character. But to ask. In the Forgotten Realms world, if you know your your D and D lore. Uh oh, oh, Zvart. You die, Zvart. And the rivers run red. You know what else runs red? Your face. The end. So probably not a good idea to put Zar in the front lines, but whatever. must we be so insufferably charitable? Yes. We just killed a monster. What do you want? It shall be as you wish. We shouldn't kill monsters because we're evil. We should hug 
Big goody goodies Monsters. make me sick. You shut up. Oh my god, I go to it and require slump up. How may I be of assistance? Exactly what he would say, because he's not very bright. Smart people use small words. But not me! I'm smarter than that! I worked it out! Okay. Let's go. Walkie, walkie, walkie. So if we were to walk oh, just a little bit off the beaten path, we would find some monsters, but I kind of don't want to right now. I kind of want to get straight up to uh, to the inn, um, get uh, my party full up, and start wandering down to Nashville. Um, yeah, hey, so by the way, cutscenes are way better, way better than the 1999 Baldur's Gate. I do have to say, um, I mean, it's, you know, there was nothing much. It was just it a picture of a, of a building, the friendly armed men, which doesn't look all that friendly, frankly. Um, no, I'm tired. Why am I tired? I guess we just start out tired. That's fun. Um, I would rest, but what's the point? Well, we'll rest once we get to the end. I don't remember what effect fatigue has. Um, need to look that up. It's probably like a small minus to everything, but whatever. So, okay, so anyway, I know in advance there's about to be a fight here. Uh, spoiler alert. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and quick save. Um... Hi, friend. Oh, hi, friend. You must be my buddy. I'm uh, just road-worn travelers. The bearing of someone I look for, looking for. I was, yes, I was in Candlekeep. <laughs> but your name happened to be Beast Mode. Well, sir, I am actually known as Marshawn Lynch. However, you may call me Beast Mode. I had something for you. Oh, it's my blade, it apparently. This better be good, Link. What's going to be is you hear me go around the back. Troubling you? you start casting spells. Larlock's Minor Drain. I care not. That's what that is. And my let's go. My blade will cut you down to size. What need ye dead? All right, let's see if we can get the backstab to work. So we got a guy directly behind him. Yep. Well, actually, it was Imowin, so no, we did not. Imowin, 12 hit. That's not bad. Um, yeah, 5 damage, so not much of an assassin. Yes? It shall be as you I'll wish. Take that. <laughs> All right, so I've got some scrolls. So I'll give those out to Imowin. Okay, she's going to be using them eventually. I have two quarter staves, quarter staves. That's a short sword. You can take that in one. That'll be your backup weapon. All right. So there's the there's our first real encounter. Not counting the gibberlings. So yeah. So the big key is uh, strategy. You can usually find your way around hey, these friend. games. Good to meet a fine sod such as yourself. Not another bad guy. Why are the roads cut off, sir? The roads are crawling with brigands, dummy. Well, I hope they clear up soon. I sure ain't going nowhere. It shall be as you wish. Let's walk over here to this corner for no reason. I think that's Galid. Yep, that's Galid. Okay. Calm yourself, dear. We must proceed carefully. Carefully. Because it's Kevin coming to kill me. Jahera, mind your manners. Okay, I'm no. He's not with you. Yeah, should have seen the worst. He died. He's a dead man. Gorion, must be worried for your safety. Whatever. Okay, so great. Your company would be welcome. Um, uh, yeah, we're going to Nashville. 
For now, I mean, we are going to Nashville. That is where we're going, it shall be but as we wish. we're going to drop off a couple kids at the pool, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Um, okay, so what just happened? Some spell wore off or something, I don't know. That first guy, so that first guy can't be a pain in the butt because if you don't quick shot him, he will cast cause fear on everybody, and then everybody runs around like a chicken with their head cut off, and it gets very annoying. I think elves are actually immune. They might be immune to fear. I'm not sure. They're immune to charm. I'm pretty sure. Um, what do you have to sell me? I need to get some sleep, so let's do that. You have any good? Stuff to buy? Sure. 45 gold pieces? I made of money? Okay, fine. Um, let's take some arrows. Imowen, you also need some arrows. I know this is very exciting. Arrow, arrow, arrow. 100 should be fine. Um, even though you're not going to be in the group forever, I am going to give you some darts because... Why not? Um, I would, except we don't. No, oh, they're there. That way you can fight from a distance. From a distance. God is watching us. It's true. Okay, so then Jahera needs a, a ranged weapon for those times when I'm not tanking with her. Actually, she's not in the party tank right now, in fact, so I might just give her that duty immediately. Um, all right, so yeah, that should cover us. Let's go ahead and equip everybody. Okay, there's that. Khalid actually already has the split mail. That's good. Um, the potions up in the quick items in case I need to use them. That's one thing I... It's the irony about... Um, There's a level one. The problem is, like, there are very few situations where you actually find yourself using a potion at level one because usually you're, like, one-shotted or you're, like, down to, like, two hit points, in which case you're almost dead anyway. Um, I guess the exception would be Khalid, who has a little bit of 13 hit points and jahera has got 12 that they can work through. Um, wow, I have 13 to start with, too. Dang, man, I'm impressed. I guess because barbarians don't, um, uh, they don't, uh, come on, there we go, using that again. Um, because since they don't start out with a lot of, um, well, they start out with slim, which is pretty decent, but uh, they can't use plate eventually, so they're not great tanks. They're kind of, um, I guess where they tank is that they're kind of a meat shield. They take lots and lots of hit points until they die, whatever. Uh, so, yeah, so let's, uh, okay, we got our guys. Um, huh, you're a queer fellow. And you know what? It is time for another cut. Time goes by pretty quickly when you are having fun and also when you are uh, keeping your recordings down to under 20 minutes anyway. <laughs> My name's Johnny Slick. Hope you have a wonderful day, and all your tomorrows are something like that. Goodbye.